。日前，世界中文大会孔子学院的未来发展论坛在北京举行。来自美国纽约的贺志明曾担任美国第二家孔子学院的理事长九年时间。在接受中新社记者专访时，贺志明表示，孔子学院提供了较好的资源，帮助世界各国人民了解中国文化。有些人想把孔子学院的工作政治化，这是非常错误的事情。But I also encourage them not to politicize or weaponize Confucius institutes, which are a force for good. Giving people the skills that they need to better engage with China is a positive thing, not something that should be、um, something that should be discouraged. What Confucius Institutes are are here to provide a platform for engagement. And you said, why is it important for Confucius the work of the Confucius Institutes? Because it gives people the skills and tools that they need to really engage with China. 谈到孔子学院的未来发展，贺志明认为，孔子学院已建立了一个较为完善的网络。只要继续保持专注和专业，孔子学院将在促进中外交流方面发挥独特的作用。Well, I think it's important for Confucius Institute to stay focused, to stay on track with providing professional support and guidance. Um, with a group of very, very dedicated and a network of very dedicated professionals who are truly focused on that work,、um, and not be derailed by other people's sort of ignorance or misunderstanding or misperceptions. One of the, the closing themes that I talked about at one of the panels today is we have a tremendous network built、um, through Confucius Institute. Now it's our responsibility to activate that network and to be a part of a more positive future. 非营利性组织华美协进社成立于1926年，旨在推动中美之间的文化交流。贺志明曾担任华美协进社社长长达九年时间。作为第一批来中国留学的美国人之一，贺志明与中国结缘已有数十年时间。他告诉记者，不久前美中元首会晤后，他看到了美国民众了解中国的积极性明显增高。他期待未来美中能够在多个领域更加深入的交流合作。I followed up where I had the honor to be an MC at a program that was being sponsored by the China General Chamber of Commerce in the Midwest part of the United States in Chicago. And originally, several hundred people had signed up, but after President Biden and President Xi met in San Francisco, I saw an immediate, immediate change. Almost 1,000 people came. I think, along with the rise of China. People are not always comfortable, but as you get access and exposure to China, whether it's through its food, through its language, through its sports, through its history,、um, I think that those anxieties begin to melt away. Whether it's bringing Broadway shows to China or young Chinese performers to the U.S., whether it's connecting them in the classroom to learn English or Chinese, whether it's exchanges and tourism and business coming back,、um, we all. Live in an integrated and it's a complex fabric that our world is, and the more points that connect us, the better we're going to be.